first. I've seen several Hello times. there, Thaddeus, Theobald, Theodosius, Tadpole Lovers the Third. On this they video, I want to talk about tadpoles and some of my favorite ways and best ways to kill them with each class, as well as some facts about tadpoles. You know, when I think about tadpoles, it's almost like yesterday when I first met the tadpole species. I'll let them just uh, take some of these. Oh, what, what is this? Is this different? What in the world are these things? Looks like they're flying owls, flying frogs, flying penguins, flying otters, flying... I have no idea what that is, but it is cool. Oh my goodness, what is that thing? That is a frog. It's a frog with a chicken body with a penguin something or other, and it's, it's an abomination. Alright, first of all, let's talk about a few facts about tadpoles. Um, there are three different sizes. There are tiny ones, there's the medium size, which are probably the most common, and then there are large ones, the purple ones, which are pretty vicious um, and pretty dangerous. There should be some up in the air. Yeah, there's one right there, a purple one. Um, as far as uh, their attack patterns, what they do is, when they're in the air and they come, they're coming at you in the air, they will do, they will do acid attack. So you can strafe that, or you want to try and strafe that rather than move backwards or towards. And then when they're on the ground, they'll try and charge you and uh, bite you. Let me go ahead and uh, pull one of these, a couple of these. Let me pull more than that, I think. Alright. And also, um, depending on the mission, a lot of times they'll come in with a uh, certain pattern, which is probably a mating pattern, but they will fly in with a pattern and then they will uh, land, so you have a chance to attack them. Um, another negative thing, unfortunately, about tadpoles is when NPCs get bitten, they will not fight back, so that is something that's unfortunate, because if you're using your NPCs as a distraction, and they get bitten, then all of a sudden they're taken out and they're not considered um, a target anymore to, uh, to distract for you. So as you can see, um, let me go ahead and attack one of these here for us. These things take one, one, two shots with this particular dunkle on normal. But you'll notice if I get bitten here, if I can get bitten here, you do half the damage while you're in their mouth. So. One, two, two, three, four. So that's something to keep in mind as well. You do do, you do do, sorry, excuse me, do do, uh, half damage while you're in their mouth. So that's something that makes it a little bit more difficult to get out of their mouth, especially when you're dealing with purple tadpoles. Um, that's really, yeah, the only facts that I really have written down. There's not too much else that I know of, at least personally, that can make share about these things. Uh, let me go ahead and retreat back here and talk about the weapons now for each class. And like I said, I like to make this a discussion, so let me know your favorite ways to uh, attack tadpoles, and uh, also uh, any other facts that you know about that I don't, that I didn't mention here. So let's talk about ranger class here first. So for ranger, um, my favorite ways to deal with them, if you have a lot of buildings, um, you, which typically you're gonna have, to, you're gonna have buildings to deal with, uh, my favorite weapon is the uh, the Volcanic Napalm, level 54. Let me switch to Inferno here, so I can actually take this out. Um, I don't really care for the other fireballs, the small fireballs, uh, the Volatile Napalms. Uh, under grenade launchers here. Um, the Volatile ones aren't too good because they're not really large. The fireball is not large enough to attack, but... Um, the Volcanic level 54 is very good. It's a low level too, so you can use this on Hardest and Inferno, but uh, this is a definitely a good strategy if you have buildings, like I said. And then my second way to deal with them is, of course, Missile Launchers. I prefer the MEX Emerald uh, because it does more damage and it usually kills its target with one or two missiles, and then you can move on to the next target. And now that you can have missile items, which I recommend taking if you do, do I have that, you can shoot it twice, you know, three times as fast, lock on speed, so pretty good. Pretty good overall. So let me go ahead and take this out really quickly here. Alright, so, um, like I said, if you have a lot of buildings, I like to find usually a, a place that has buildings that are close together, and also where there's only a couple ways in. Let me see if I can find an example here. Like right here, for example. Um, you have only one one access to the street, and you have buildings on both sides, and then a building behind you. So I like those kind of places where you only have you know have less opportunities for the tadpoles to get in and try and uh, 
to try and bite you. But what you can do is you can just shoot your napalm on a tall building. And they'll, they'll fly into that fireball, and a lot of them will die from that. So that's one of my favorite ways with Ranger. Um, one thing, unfortunately, though, if you're dealing with purple tadpoles, is you want something with high damage so that if you get bitten, you can kill, like, a purple tadpole really quickly. So, like, a D110 shotgun or, you know, the big heavy shotguns is usually pretty good as a second weapon to deal with them. Um, but uh, otherwise, if you don't have access to buildings or just in general, if you're trying to... Um, Depending on your strategy of your group, you know, just missile launcher, of course, is always good. Um, I usually don't recommend pulling the whole map with this, of course, on this particular mission, but uh, you can always go to the corner more and uh, fight the ones that actually see you from far away. But yeah, missile launcher is very good. And of course, having the lock on quicker, of course, and this increases your out damage output and you can kill them a lot faster. But, uh, but yeah, you, you definitely want, if you're dealing with purple tadpoles, you definitely want a way to knock the purple tadpoles out of the air before they attack you, because they're very dangerous, uh, for sure. Now let's move on to Wing Diver. Uh, Wing Diver's pretty good with these things, I would say. Um, my favorite ways, I would say, like I said, if you're trying to survive and you need to knock things out of the air, Ghost Chaser is a very good option. Um, you have options as well for all difficulties, where you can use this on Hardest Inferno, the level 68, and there's also level 14, which also has the same range, which is crazy. But because of the explosive damage, um, it knocks them out of the air. So this is if you're dealing with purple tadpoles, you're getting you're getting uh, damaged by them quite a bit. You can't really deal with them as they charge you. You can always take the ghost chaser as an opportunity to do that, to deal with them, to knock them out of the air. And then as far as my second way, I really like fighting them on the ground personally as wing diver. Um, I think it's 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 the easiest and best way to fight. Um, the reason I, I like the rapier over the, the phalanx uh, because the rapier allows you to dash while you're fighting with it, and I like to dash um, a lot while I'm fighting them on the ground, so you can stay mobile and avoid their attacks, and then just dash into them and kill them very quickly. So that's my uh, probably my top way of fighting with wing diver, and then taking a jet core. And there are multiple jet cores on different difficulties, but. Uh, like I said, the Ghost Chaser is good to just knock them out of the air because that initial dive bomb of their attacks is very strong. So if you can knock them out of the air, it's very beneficial. Unless, of course, your strategy with your team is to, you know, have them land and then call in some, you know, strafe plan or something on them. Then that's a different story, or a KM6. But uh, if you're not and you're just trying to survive, then a Ghost Chaser can be very good to, uh, to knock them out of the air and just to survive a little bit longer. But then usually what I'll do is, you know, if I'm just fighting and I'm not in threat, then I can just dash around and use the rapier to dash into the group as they miss you and they, and they land on the ground. Because um, the rapier kills them very fast. And of course, if you get bitten like this, for example, with a, a purple tadpole, the damage is so high, you can actually kill them before they kill you, which is very important. And this is, I'm actually playing on, uh, on a, uh, what is it called? Online by myself, Inferno. Unfortunately, because I don't have the offline uh, map unlocked yet, but uh, um, it's, it's like I said, the, the ghost chaser is good for knocking them down, and then you can just finish them off with the with the rapier. This is probably not going to go well because, like I said, I'm playing online by myself, but uh, and plus there's a lot. But uh, it's I really like this this way of, of dealing with them personally. And usually you're pretty fast with these things, and you can kill them and stay mobile rather than fighting them in the air. So. So yeah, those are my two ways with Wing Diver I prefer. Let me go ahead and retreat here. And let's go on to Air Raider now. Um, Air Raider is a very good, very good class for tadpoles. Um, and usually people take the uh, bomb, the Phobos, but uh, in my opinion, I think the KM6 is probably the best for tadpoles. And the reason is it has a lot more projectiles, so it can hit a lot more targets. You don't need explosive damage because one shot of the KM6 is usually strong enough to kill the tadpoles. It's safer on your teammates. It's a wider area. It's just I think it's, it's it's I think it's better overall in my opinion. So I recommend. There's a lot of different there's a lot of different patterns. Um, I like the four line or the five line. Um, I don't really care for the single line ones for them, but it's not terrible. But as many lines as possible, of course. And then the star pattern is pretty good too, low 48. Um, and then my second choice for air raider would be the the Zex or the Zera guns. Um, I don't really care for the Z guns. Um, but I do like the, Zer the Zexer gun, the Zera gun, and the Zer gun. Those are pretty good stationary guns for them. They have good range, they shoot fast enough, and they can usually kill the stragglers that you missed with your uh, straight plans. So, so yeah, those are my two uh, best uh, weapons for them. Let me take this out really quickly here. 
So usually I'll, like I said, I'll usually play by, usually try and get by some buildings because it's a little safer. And then just set up your your turrets, you know, by the place you're going to defend at until you get your vehicle out. And then you can just, uh, unfortunately, I don't like pulling pulling tadpoles with the strafe plan because it's kind of a waste. You kind of want them to land first before you do it. But, uh, unfortunately I have to do that for this mission, but set my turrets off and then just wait till they land a bit and then just call on my straight plan. And you get it back pretty quickly, of course, and it's just very strong, very good, very good way to, uh, to deal with tadpoles, in my opinion. I think I said, I think you'll find that the, the KM6s are pretty good on these things, better than the bombing plans, in my opinion. But as you can see, you get it back very quickly and you can just spam these things. It's pretty nice. I like it. Alright, so those are my two favorite for Air Raider. Let's go back and deal with the uh, last of all, Fencer here now. Now, Fencer has a lot of good options for uh, tadpoles as well. Um, it depends if you want to fight them from far away. Like, if you have, if, if they're coming in to the map, you know, on a certain mission, usually, typically they'll come in um, after a certain phase happens in, in, the, in the mission, and then you have a chance to attack them while they're doing their mating pattern. So, what you can do is, you can take high altitude missiles, of course, which is, in my opinion, the best missile launchers for them. They're fast missiles, they're fast traveling, and they have good range, so you can attack them early and kill them early. And usually what I'll do is I'll take two, two of them, and I'll lock onto one set with, I'll lock onto, you know, 14 with one set, and then I'll try and lock on 14 different with another set so I can knock out more of them in the air to get them to the ground, so to make it more safer. And then my second set, or my second weapon that I recommend is um, vibro hammers. Uh, the finest hammer is the vibro, best vibro hammer in the game, but there's also low level ones. Um, uh, the vibro hammer FV, there's other ones as well, I think. Uh, vibro hammer FA, yeah, there's different vibro hammers, but those are my favorite because of the damage reduction. And they have good range, so you get 135 meters, um, and it does 2,000 damage. It can hit multiples on the ground. It gives you damage reduction, like I said. It's just a very good overall. Quick reload, good capacity, just very good weapon to fight them. And then I'll take my second weapon, um, probably shotgun, so that I can, uh, like if I get bitten, I can at least free myself, you know, because if you don't have to deal with purple ones, then you probably could deal with, like, a dispersion mortar and then just free yourself with the actual finest hammer itself. But if you're dealing with purple ones, you're probably going to need something to actually um, kill the enemy with it. But, I mean, typically you're, you're ideally not going to get bitten, though, of course, because whenever you're in the swinging motion of the finest hammer, you're not going to get bitten. You can't get bitten. And uh, typically you're going to be trying to um, swing the hammer as often as you can, just for damage reduction. But, of course, and then take a, the boost and dash setup. So let me go ahead and briefly uh, show that really quickly. Uh, if you saw uh, if you saw my uh, strategy video for DLC 113, I think it is the hardest mission, one of the hardest missions in the game. Um, that was how I was able to solo it was with the finest hammer dealing with the tadpoles because of the damage reduction. So very good. But yeah, I'll just lock onto 14 targets and then try and lock onto 14 different targets with mother set. And also, you know, the tip with the high altitude missiles is. As long as you release them at the at the top of your jump, so jump straight up at the top of your jump, then release, you'll never get hit. As long as you're not moving, you like just just you want to jump straight up, not on the angle or anything. So jump at the top of your jump, let go, and you'll never get hit. And then I'll just switch to um switch to hammer once they land to the ground, so I can kill them. And you can kill a whole bunch of them with uh with the of course I get hit by my own missiles. Um, but of course, like I said, you can hit a bunch of them. It knocks them down. It knocks the purple ones down. You can't get bitten while you're while you're swinging the hammer. You don't have to necessarily uh, swing when it's red. You can also swing when it's yellow if you're in, if you're in trouble as well, because it's still decent damage. With uh, oh my goodness, I'm stuck on a building. I'm so good. And like I said, if you reload, you can always swing it right away. You don't have to wait till it's charged just to get that damage reduction. But uh, I really like the I really like the. Uh, the damage and the damage reduction for these hammers, and it allows you to be mobile around the map, get some help when you need it, knock them around. It's pretty good, pretty good overall. So I definitely recommend the Vibro Hammer. Get some health, yeah. And sometimes, unfortunately, you need the Vibro Hammer to be to be upgraded before it can be useful. Like if you if your charge is if your charge uh, is reload. If you reload and your charge rate is pretty slow on the hammer, it might not be good enough to use on them, but uh, it's still pretty good. 
regardless. And usually you're not going to be dealing with this kind of number of tadpoles at once um, by yourself online Inferno. <laughs> Unfortunately, I need to unlock some more missions offline so I can actually show some, uh, some offline missions uh, just to make it a little bit more, <laughs> uh, more viewable rather than playing by myself online here. But yeah, those are my uh, those are my recommendations for each of the classes. Like I said, uh, read all my comments. So please share um, share your favorite ways and uh, and also any facts that you know that I didn't mention in this uh, video. So uh, yeah, hope this was helpful to you and uh, hope to see you in the next video. And remember, EDF doesn't leave a man behind ever. And if you're interested in ways to support the channel, please consider liking the video or uh, sharing the channel with someone or watching a few ads as it does help financially. It's very much appreciated. Thanks a lot.